Hey everybody, Dr. Tom with the Active Healing Center. We are at Mobility Monday and we are going to focus on the spine and building better mobility in the spine. The last video, the last couple of videos we sent out, we were talking about helping fixing that forward head posture, somewhat about rounded shoulders, fixing those rounded shoulders. Uh, and the last video we sent out uh, for Mobility Monday, we were talking about uh, building better mobility through the upper spine into uh, your neck, basically. And I did go over three movements that we can use to help build better mobility in the neck. And that was flexion and extension, that nodding motion. We talked about rotation, your spine likes to rotate. And lateral flexion, head to uh, ear to shoulders. Those are three healthy movements for your spine. So we talked about neck, and they're still good for the rest of your spine. So before we go any further with uh, talking about the spine and building mobility there, just real quick about the spines, we could talk multiple segments about building better mobility and function and structure through your spine. But just think about it in this sense, your spine from your skull, your neck, your mid back, your low back, your pelvis, that is the central structure of your body. It's the, it is the foundation of your body. And we want that foundation to be as strong and healthy and mobile as we can because everything else is going to work based off how your spine functions, about how that center, how your foundations function. If your foundation is not good, nothing else can be good. It's like looking at a, looking at a house or a building with a cruddy foundation. If you don't fix the problems within that foundation, the rest of the structure uh, is going to be weakened. And that's the same exact thought process we want to have about your body. So we're going to pay a lot of attention to the function, the structure of your spine. And one more piece about that is we don't like to differentiate. I don't like to differentiate neck, mid back, low. It's all your spine. All right. If you have a neck problem, you have a spine problem. If you have a low back problem, you have a spine problem. They're all connected. Your neck affects your mid back, your low back, your low back affects upwards. That's just the way it works. So when we rehab or try to uh, get it back on track, we work, we need to work everything. So in that thought, building better mobility in terms of your spine, since we talked about those three movements for building better function in your neck, so up and down, rotation, lateral movements, that's how your spine likes to move. Well, that's what we can start to do for the rest of your spine. So I'm sitting here on my wobble chair you probably don't have a wobble chair at home. So one, you can come into our office and utilize ours, but two, we have portable ones that we can use, that we do sell uh, and have uh, in our office. But we also, you can also go on and, and just look up a Dyna disc, D-Y-N-A disc, and go on Amazon, Google it. They're not that expensive, 20 bucks, 15, whatever it is, but it's just a, a blue disc that you can use for balance training, but uh, it's a hard uh, rubberized material and you can sit on it. So you put one of these or a Dyna disc on a hard surface, a chair, a bench, uh, a wood stepper, things of that nature, whatever you have at home. And you can utilize it the same way we work our uh, wobble chair in the office. So. What I like about the wobble chair here is we have these handles and we can kind of use that uh, in terms of building a better mechanical advantage. And that is basically what the wobble chair or the portable version of this or a Dyna disc, it starts to give us a mechanical advantage so that we can start to drive more motion, more movement into the joints of our spine. And the beauty of working with a tool like this in the office or one like uh, I just brought up to you for home, the ultimate goal is this really starts to drive motion into your discs. And that is ultimately where we want to get to with, with uh, these types of tools is to drive that motion, drive that mobility into the discs and the joints of your spine. And ultimately what it's doing, all these different motions that we can do Really, we can uh, bring it down to one main point, and it's compression, decompression. So when I'm moving, I'm compressing the spine, compressing the disc, decompressing, putting pressure on the disc, taking pressure off the disc, and what that does is it creates a pump. 
your disc, these joints don't receive nutrients through blood supply. They, they, these discs need nutrients to be pumped in and they need debris and the toxins of the, all those byproducts from being a living tissue need to be pulled out. And that's done with compression, decompression. When we walk, you know, without walking motion creates that kind of pump. Now, unfortunately, when we have injuries and wear and tear over time, what happens is we start to lose that proper motion in your joints and the discs become brittle because they're not getting as proper nutrients getting pumped in. So we need to start driving that motion into there, getting those joints to function properly so that we can get that compression decompression component going. And that's what keeps your discs healthy. They're not meant to wear down the way they do in many people that are coming into our office. They're not meant to degenerate or deteriorate at the rate that they do in a lot of people. And the reason we're doing it, that happens is because we're just not driving that motion. We're not getting that mobility in there to keep these structures, these tissues healthy. So when we have a chair like this, we can have, we start to offer a mechanical advantage to that area. So now we can really start to drive better motion into these areas and create a healthier spine, uh, more mobility, and ultimately getting that foundation in a healthier uh, track. So the three movements that we can do on a wobble chair or a tool that you can use at home uh, are that flexion extension. So the way we do this at home uh, on, the, on the wobble chair is I put my hands down here at the base uh, where the handles are and I just bring everything forward. So I'm rocking my hips backward and I'm rounding the rest of my spine, my chin to my chest, creating this C-shaped structure, you know, nice and rounded. Get everything moving forward, hips rock backward, and my spine and my head come forward. And I'm gonna hold that position. So I kind of just really lock that in and really accentuate, like I'm truly really trying to push my back out. And I'm gonna hold that for a count of five seconds. So 1,001, so set your timer or just count. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, five seconds. All right, it's not one, two, three, four, five. 1,001, 1,002, but I really want to accentuate that position and then we're going to reverse it. Sorry, I keep going back and forth here. Then we're gonna reverse it and go up. So again, now my hips are rocking forward, getting this arch into my low back and my head is going up towards the ceiling, shoulders back, head back. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold that 1,001, 1,002 for a count of five. And do that five times. It's nice and smooth, really holding those end positions for a count of five, five times. All right, that's flexion extension. And it starts to drive motion through all these joints, all these discs. But ultimately for this, it's a little bit more about concentrating on the lower part of your spine. And we'll call that from about mid-back, right below your shoulder blades, down into the low back of your pelvis. It's Primarily, the primary area, but we are gonna help work mobility of these muscles throughout the entire spine with that motion. So flexion, extension, flexion, flexion, extension, getting those. So the second motion is uh, lateral movement. So what I like to do here is say nice and tall. Again, you always wanna start nice and tall, shoulders upright, head upright. You know, the more we emphasize those positions, the more we train our brains, are always resetting that nervous system to get you to hold, you, hold yourself in that position. So we're staying nice and tall through here, uh, and we're going to move laterally. So I like to bring my arms straight up so that my elbows are right at my ear level, and we're going to rock. So I'm gonna rock to the side. So here, my hips rock to my right, and the rest of my body and my spine go to the left. And I'm staying nice and tall and I'm rocking. Get my head to my shoulder and bring my shoulder towards my hips. Now I want to stay nice and tall through here. And I'm not like, crunching down on my spine, but we're just really trying to like reach up towards the ceiling here while I'm um, creating this again, this C-shaped structure through here on my left side. And again, hold it five seconds. And then I'm going back to the other side, five seconds. So it's just a nice, easy rocking motion. Again, I feel that all through here, pulled into those muscles, that's what we want. We want those muscles to start to really open up and move so it allows your body 
your spine and your pelvis to move all these areas to move better. So this one, again, nice and tall, and we're just rocking to the left, hold for five seconds, get that head moving, and we're gonna rock to the right, hold for five seconds, five times each side. Third one is a rotation. Again, your spine likes to rotate. That's how we're gonna work it. So we get up here, we stay nice and tall through here, tall through my shoulders, and I kind of lock my, my hands into here. And here we're just rotating. Same. I'm gonna turn my head and my shoulders, but now I'm staying fairly level through here. So I'm not rotating everything here. I want the pelvis to stay nice and centered, and I'm just gonna rotate my spine over my pelvis. And again, we're gonna hold that for five seconds, that end position, and come back. Hold that for five seconds, five times. So it's not swinging, all right? We're not driving, you know, trying to force that position. We're just getting those muscles to elongate and then to hold that end position to really allow those muscles to start to open up five times. So really, it should take about three, four minutes to do all of those five seconds each time, uh, five, uh, five seconds, five times each position. So, you know, three, four minutes uh, tops and you should be able to hit all of those areas. Those are great movements to start to build better mobility through ultimately your lower spine, but uh, through the upper and lower spine altogether, primary area is that lower spine. When I do these, I do like to do them with my eyes closed. Uh, don't recommend you start with that. You could build up, and if you do them with your eyes closed, make sure you have some handles or something to hold on to for a little bit of balance. But what am I doing there? I'm making my brain work. If I take my visual cue out of it, now I'm just relying on my brain and my body to communicate. That's what our ultimate goals always want to be. Get your brain and body to communicate better so that when you're doing your daily activities, just living your life, your brain and body have a, you know, can really communicate real well. That's balance. That's building better awareness between your body and your, the space around you. Uh, and especially as we get older, it becomes extremely important to want to keep building that, uh, that awareness and that, that communication between your brain and body. Very important. But you work into it, or at least have some handles to hold on to in case you lose balance. But I like to do it with my eyes closed as best as I can. But those are three good movements to work your spine, building better mobility, ultimately better function through, uh, better structure and function through uh, your entire spine. If you have any questions, if you are getting problems such as radiating pains, tingling, numbness, down the legs, arms, hands, those are signs that nerves are being irritated, definitely give us a call. These are things that we can help you out with. Uh, and if you have any questions, please reach out. Otherwise, have a great day and let's get moving. Take care.